Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to Magnum Valley Arsenal. Today I'm going to be showing off some Civil Defense uh, 45. Actually, just a Liberty. Uh, Uncle Stewart just told me that the name really doesn't matter because there's two different versions. But anyway, this guy runs hot. This one is only 78 grains versus maybe, I don't know, upwards of 240 grains. So that is real light, which is why it, it's clocking itself at 1,900 feet per second. So first off, I'm going to hit the gel with it. But as you can see, that thing is hollowed out and it is light. So cool. I can't wait to see what it does to this guy. Uh, of course, I'm using my old 45. Uh, what do we got in here? All right, that is gonna be for playing around later. And here's the Liberty. And I'm gonna take a crack at this guy and then I'm gonna run it through the uh, chronograph to see how fast it really is going. All right, safety up. Let's take a shot. Okay, get kind of close here. All right. Woo, boy. <laughs> Woo. Boy, <laughs> that was cool. Safe. Look at that. It, this is a fragmenting bullet, so it caught all the fragments right here within, what, five inches? And then the rest of it, all right, that went probably, I don't know, 12 inches, inches, 15 inches in. Pretty cool, look at that. That starburst round. That is literally like a star. Take a look at that. Pretty sweet. Let's get keep this thing clean. Man, I I would not want to get hit by that guy. <laughs> awesome. Well, cool. We'll dig that guy out later uh, and see what it looks like. But meanwhile, let's go to the chronograph and see how fa fast we're running. All right, chronograph time. Again, this is a uh, 78 grains, it's supposed to run at 1900 feet per second. Uh, very light 45 round. Uh, we just hit the the uh, gel with it and that was pretty impressive, but now I gotta clean it out. So anyway, let's see how, how fast we're running through. Again, this is the uh, Liberty. All right. 1969 so the box didn't lie pretty cool huh i recommend the round <laughs> definitely awesome all right let's just do some tooling around let's see here i've got some fioshi this time hollow point i don't know i'll have to dig up the specs on this guy later but i'm just going to tool around with it all right let's take a shot at some coke and a spaghetti squash. Miss that guy. Fun gun. Doesn't even kick all that hard for a 45. Mainly because it's heavy. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? What's up, Zeus? Have a seat, have a seat, sit, hey, sit, stay, good boy. All right guys, I, I wanted to uh, come and show you exactly what that 45 Liberty round did. Took a heat gun, not a, uh, what do you call it, a, um... nice. Not a hair dryer, but an actual heat gun. 
and I was able to to melt to get uh, some good views of this because you can see you got some wrinkles in here from wh where the uh, the gel came when they molded it they had it in a, uh, a plastic bag so anyway look how clear that looks now after I put some uh, heat on it and melted all the wrinkles out of it I don't know how well it would do against say body armor or if it went through a wall first because it did catch the bullet as you can see and I'm gonna cut that dude out soon before I melt this thing and get it ready for combat again but uh, isn't that pretty sweet anyway just thought that would be pretty interesting to see how clear you can make this gel by using a heat gun. Anyway, that was my Ruger P345. And uh, I had fun with you guys. Uh, remember your safety as usual. Also, please like and subscribe. Uh, we're getting close to being monetized and I can't wait. And don't forget, we've got at least 13 other episodes for the nine millimeter defense rounds. Three shots each, comparing three different uh, rounds so come back and watch them take care guys all right so i cut this fragment out that ended up being caught right here at the end of this gel and this is all we're left with so that fragmenting took most of the bullet right here in the the first what three four inches Interesting.